What's up everybody? It's Coach with SHTF Fitness. Today I was thinking, I was um, working with some other coaches today and, and uh, just looking at their clients to be quite honest, and some people that I've not seen in about three years time looked about the same. They weren't dramatically bigger or smaller, they looked about the same. Or a lot of people, men particularly, were thin and not strong looking, not jacked. And who wants that? We all want to look like superheroes because all these stupid Marvel movies, right? So how do you get there? What are they doing wrong, even though they've been training for years and yet they don't have a great aesthetic physique? They're missing the principle of progressive overload, okay? There's two reasons for this. And what is progressive overload? First of all, that is the, the training uh, methodology that states that as you train, as you're moving weights, you need to be progressively overloading. You need to be adding reps. You need to be adding weight to the bar or dumbbell or whatever. Or you need to be adding time under tension, and that's a different subject altogether. And that's what a lot of people are missing. Their workouts, they may be bone pressure. They may be very difficult in a cardiovascular sense, but they're really not stimulating the musculature as needed. They're not pushing more weight than before. They're doing the same weight. They're not doing a lot more reps than before. They're doing about that same rep range. So that burns energy. That does, you know, helps keep you slender and uh, burn body fat, but it doesn't actually grow the muscle very well. Okay. So what do you need to do? Well, even if you're doing something like a lot of the preppers do, rucking, which I bring up a lot, which is great, but if you take the same amount of weight in your rucksack and go the same distance, you know, well, if you do that every day for a week, well, during the second week, if you do the same thing, suddenly your body's not adapting to it anymore. It's used to that stimulus, you're gonna burn some calories and that's cool, but your body is not gonna force adaptation. Your, your musculature is not gonna grow because of it. So if you are rucking, what you need to do is make sure you're going for a longer distance or that rucksack gets heavier or you can cover that distance faster, okay? Another big thing, if you're looking um, you know, at the gym like my environment, so we've talked about adding weight to the bar. Now we need to talk about consistency in the program. Another big, big problem where people don't get proper progressive overload is they change the program too damn much. They're changing the program every single time they come in. Somehow or another, probably sometime in the late 80s, early 90s, this term muscle confusion got started getting thrown around. When I used to work for Globo Gym back in the day, the salesman would talk about muscle confusion. I know you need to be doing different stuff all the time. Well, your muscles aren't that smart. Your muscles don't get confused. They're mechanical, okay? They're like biological rubber bands, essentially, okay? They're not smart enough to be confused. They respond to stimulus, and that's it. So, doing different things all the time is silly, because again, you're not working that progressive overload. If you're doing new things all the time, it's gonna be really hard to keep track of what you've done already. You need to be doing the same programs for a minimum of a month. Minimum of a month, that's what I do for my clients because it just keeps them from getting bored and engaged. If I'm training athletes, and most people that train athletes for a living, you're looking at eight week program, 12 week program, as far as high as 16 week program, where you might have a A, B, C day, and that's it. But that allows you to really hone in on that exercise Learn that skill, strength training is a skill, getting results, part of that is a skill, okay? And adding weight or reps or time to, to stimulate that growth and see fantastic results. If you're changing it up all the time because you get bored, well, I'd encourage you just to hang in there for at least a month. And things go in cycles, okay? You, you, you shouldn't always be training for the same thing. You could go through a strength phase, you could go through a power phase, you could go through a hypertrophy phase, which is just the $20 word of building muscle. And that's and that's an appropriate way of training is going through phases. So I hope that helped. 
how do you get results in the gym through progressive overload? How do you do that? Add weight to the damn bar. Add, uh, add reps. Add time under tension, okay? Do the same things. Don't be afraid of repeating them, but do it more efficiently, do it with more weight, and you're gonna see amazing results. If you're mixing it up all the time, you're, you know, you're that, that ship in the ocean that gets tossed to and fro, not knowing which way it's going, okay? Pick a path, stick to it. If you need help, I'm here for you. You can go to shtf.fitness. We'd be happy to help you, coach you, answer your questions. Make it an awesome weekend.